video. Today is currently Cinco de Mayo. It is I almost said Tuesday and I almost said Friday. It is in fact Thursday. As you guys are seeing this, it is ooh, Tuesday, I believe. So I hope you guys had a great weekend. And I still have these braids in. I'm on day two or three of them. I slept with them in. As you can see, they're really um, frizzy over here. I took care of my parents' animals this morning. So they're all set, came back home. I got showered. I am ready for the day. And now we are going to see what on earth is going on with this hair and what we're gonna do with it. <laughs> Cause I'm really not quite sure. Ah, oh, see guys, look at it's cute. I love that. But it is way too humid. I woke up this morning and I checked the humidity for Florida, 90%. If I wear this outside down in 90% humidity, oh man guys, it is just not gonna work. Oh honey, no, 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 no. Okay, why do I love that though? Why am I not doing this more? Because I am really lazy with my hair, that would be why. Oh, this is kind of cute, but it's not gonna work. It's not gonna last. I'm gonna go outside with it and it's gonna go, oh, you wanted to wear your hair down today? Psych. We're just gonna grab all this hair quickly and efficiently. We'll let all that hang down. <laughs> we did something with it. It's really frizzy. Is anybody else this indecisive when it comes to their hair or do they just not care? See, the reason I think I'm struggling so much is because what's easy for me is throwing it up on top of my head, calling it a day sister. You know what I mean? Like I'm done. We did it. Let's get out of here. I need fresh air. We have the floor photographer coming investigator coming to take a look at the issues in our house and you guys have helped me tremendously with that whole journey with making sure that I speak up because I am kind of nervous about the person coming today and I'm just gonna rattle off everything that I'm not happy about I made a list but again I want to thank you for your love and support on that situation I hate complaining or bringing up negative things and I always feel like I'm going to be judged harshly and like the bad guy and I didn't want to be that person. And anyways, that's just the truth of how I feel. So besides that, we have a very exciting box of yummy goodies to unbox in this video. I have specifically been waiting for you guys to do this. I have had this box for a couple of weeks now. And I am dying to get into it because there are so many yummy things in that box. Here we are, yay. Okay, so we can finally go through this box together. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market, which I am so excited about. Thrive Market is an online grocery store that you can easily pick out healthy household, well, I should say healthy food ingredients, snacks, household items, really everything. And they also do price matching as well. So the box does say it is 100% recyclable and sent with carbon neutral shipping. When it first arrived, and I've only seen one thing, and that is this, the popcorn that I picked out, which is the Boom Chicka Pop Sweet and Salty Kettle Corn. You guys have seen me talk about this popcorn in the past. It is the best. I love it. What I love about Thrive as well is you can go in a category or a shopping category and either shop by specific brand, specific needs, whether you're vegan. They literally make it so easy. They do have a monthly membership option for $9.95 a month and a yearly membership for $59.95, which is only $5 per month. Thrive Market has given me a link to share with you guys, but I am going to show you everything that I picked up in this box. And then at the end, after I show you guys everything, I will have the link for you in case you guys would like to give it a try. Okay, so let's just start pulling things out. So I found these, these are the Almond Flour Crackers Rosemary and Sea Salt by Simple Mills, which just sounds so amazing. Very excited to try them. And then these, I've seen so many amazing things about these. So they're essentially little, 
what are they called? Like Twizzlers, but the way healthier version for you. They only have two grams of sugar. I've seen these surface everywhere. I have yet to try them. And I was like, I must. So I think I have two of them in here. And I think that we should try them ASAP. They are plant-based, no sugar alcohol added. First of all, the scent, they smell incredible. All right, cheers. Cheers. Okay. That is a good snack. I'm impressed with that. Very flavorful. Mm-hmm. 12 grams of fiber. Mmm. Okay. That's a win. I'm excited I got those. And then I should probably finish chewing this before we continue. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Next. I've never had these before. Oh, they're keto. I didn't know that. These are hazelnut butter bombs. And you guys know I love my Reese cups. These have no sugar alcohols, no soy ingredients, no gluten, no emulsifiers, no preservatives, no GMOs. I got two packs of those. <gasps> and then you guys know I love making my ramen noodles. This is what I get. I love these and I was very excited to see that they had them. So this flavor, or it's not flavor, it's just like what they're made out of. It's the Mele and brown rice ramen. Red miso soup. Oh, it is a flavor. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So we have these two to try. And what's really nice about Thrive Market as well is for every paid membership, Thrive Market donates a free membership to someone in need, such as teachers, low-income families, and veterans, which helps them have access to organic and natural products easily. Oh, what is this? What is this? I have forgotten. Oh yes, I'm so excited. This is a produce wash. So I did a lot of research on this item. Safe, hardworking cleansing. It is from Aunt Fanny's. It's a produce wash for your fruits and vegetables. And let's see, it is made with plant-based ingredients that wash clean. It's Leaping Bunny certified, made in the USA, net zero plastic footprint, human veggie earth friendly. The ingredients in here, because I was really curious, how is this going to clean my fruits and vegetables? The ingredients are water, distilled white vinegar, which is a classic, citrus lemon, peel extract, extract, orange peel extract, and glycerin. Extract is apparently difficult for me to say. So we will see. The next shopping haul that I do, we'll do a produce shop and we will put this product to the test. And then I also got, oh, ooh, about this one too. This is the four in one organic sugar soap. I thought this either in the guest bathroom or the kitchen. I think I want to use it for the kitchen. I got the peppermint by Dr. Bronner's. It's a four in one. Oh, you can use it for your hands, face, body, and hair. I've heard amazing things about Dr. Bronner. So picked that up. And then we have four items left in this box that are wrapped nicely. Oh, is this my green goddess salad dressing? <laughs> green goddess dressing and marinade made with avocado oil is this like the classic I, again i've heard so many people talk about the green goddess salad dressing let me know have you tried it is it good oh okay so this was actually for my ramen i use a specific bullion powder and many of you were like you sh Booyah. shouldn't probably use that it's not the healthiest da, da 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 there's a lot of sodium in it and like a bunch of things you guys are looking out for me so i decided to go with this one which is the organic better than bullion roasted beef base so it's actual real instead of like an artificially created broth so i picked up the beef and I believe this might be, no, I didn't get the chicken. I didn't get the chicken? I might've got the chicken. Hold on, there's still one more thing in there. I think I was thinking ramen when I, <laughs> it's so funny when you're pregnant and you have these cravings. I was, that's what this kind of haul is made from. What is this, organic, <gasps> oh. Okay, can we take a minute? We need to make pancakes together or waffles. This is Thrive Markets Organic Infused Maple Syrup Cinnamon and Vanilla Bean Infused. Okay, that just sounds so amazing. They also had really amazing coffees. I didn't pick up one. I'm kind of regretting that decision, but I can go back and get some more. So I might just do that. We have to try the coffee. And then yes, okay, this is the chicken bouillon to make ramens and whatever else I want to make with them. Roasted chicken. 
any of you at home are watching and would like to give Thrive Market a try, you can use the link in my description box or you can go to thrivemarket.com backslash Mindy Minx to get 40% off and a free gift worth up to $50 when you sign up for Thrive Market today. Thank you Thrive Market so much for sponsoring this portion of today's video. The three little bowls of the popcorn for myself, Larry, and Grandpa. Please don't spill it. Please don't drop the glass on the floor. Gramps, popcorn for you. Lairs, popcorn nice, for you. you. You're welcome. You. Snack time. So I have to tell you guys about this new pregnancy-ish, it's definitely pregnancy related, why am I calling it an ish, uh, symptom that I've been getting for the last week and a half, I would say. So I've noticed if I'm doing, I think too much or a lot or anything that's physically, like doing a lot of walking, for example, or like this morning it happened to me again. Um, I was just watering my dad's garden. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. And then it started happening too, like last week when I was on my feet a lot, walking around a lot. But here's the symptom. Okay, because you guys are probably like spit it out already. So I'm noticing I'm getting like this pressure in my uterus, like this weird pressure or an intense pressure followed by what would be like a period like cramp and then my face gets really hot and then I breathe through it and then it goes away and I started googling it when it happened for the first time and I noticed they said at 24 weeks that that can happen and that it's kind of like pre-labor or practice cramps you know Braxton Hicks I don't think it's I mean is that all that what that is I don't know but I, th I was like are we practicing already? Because I'm not quite ready to start practicing yet, even though, I mean, it's coming. It's coming, guys. Labor is coming, whether I am ready or not. And we will face that together. <laughs> well, Larry and I will face it together, that's for sure. A freaking gnat just landed in my coffee. But anyways, yeah, let me know if you guys have experienced that during pregnancy or if you know exactly what is going on let me know. Of course, I'm going to bring it up at my next OB appointment. And it's not anything that I'm like, oh, something's wrong. It's not anything like that. It feels all well and normal. Baby's still moving around a lot and all of that. I just think, holy crap, is my uterus actually practicing already? <laughs> so let me know. Have you experienced it? And if you were in the field, let me know if that's what that is. So anyways, just had to tell you guys. And we have to fish out this little gnat. Little Larry. Little. By the way, Larry asked me if I saw something on the TV last night. He's like, did you notice those little clips that are holding on to the da 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 And I was like waiting, waiting for him to finish his sentence so I could chant little. And guess what? I did. Because guess who said the little word? Where'd that bug go? Did I get it? I don't think I got it. I really don't want to drink a gnat. Just saying. So I just brought this up to all of you guys over on Instagram and all of your responses are like, yes, it's totally normal. It's Braxton Hicks and it's your body preparing, which I'm super excited about. And I was just telling Larry, like, cause I was telling him about it in the car about a week ago after we had walked around a park for a while. I was like in the car and I was like, wow, this is a weird cramp. Like that's kind of intense. And then it went away. Um, so I was just telling Larry, it really is like it's my body practicing and getting itself ready. And I don't know why <laughs> I'm so like mind blown. I don't know. Being pregnant is such an interesting thing. It's a beautiful thing, but it's also it's like baby is in you. Baby is protected. You know, one day you will get to meet baby and baby's going to come out. But I don't know. For me, it just seems so like he, he's just in there and he's safe and protected and I don't know. I think just the timeline, like actually having practice cramps or my body preparing itself. I mean, as this video goes out, I'll be 25 weeks. So we still have time, of course. But it's also the fact that my body is doing this puts that timeline into perspective. And excuse me, it's very mind blowing to me, but very exciting. It makes me think, oh my gosh, I still have so much stuff to do. We have to go furniture shopping soon. My mom and I are going to go baby furniture shopping very, very soon, which I'm very excited about. And I feel like once we get this house situation settled and have things cleaned, um, and we have the furniture come in, then we can do the fun part about decorating. But I just feel like I'm totally not prepared at all. 
not that to have a baby you need to have a decorated room not at all uh, but I just feel like I need to wash all his stuff and have everything ready and prepared I just know I took a picture at 20 weeks pregnant and I looked back at that picture and it felt like such a long time ago but at the same time it felt like just yesterday if that makes any sense and I'm already 25 weeks like five weeks have gone by like that like time just flies and before we know it I'm gonna be 30 weeks <laughs> God, I think once I'm 30 weeks, we're having a heart to heart here, guys. If you're judging me right now and thinking I'm being totally <laughs> over the top <laughs> or obnoxious, I'm sorry. I'm just, I mean, I'm a first time mom. I've never experienced labor. I've, I don't know what he's kicking. He's like, mom, calm down. Quit freaking out. We're going to do great. It's going to be fine. Um, but anyways, yeah, I just... I don't know it's just normal feelings I guess or feelings that I'm having that I want to share with you guys in case it's your first pregnancy and you also feel the same way I know a lot of people are so excited about labor and to give birth and everything and I am just one of those people that it just feels like such a far-fetched idea and it's like as if I'm not gonna have to go through it even though I'm a hundred percent gonna have to go through it Larry's I'm um, doing a little vacuuming in the background I don't know why I don't know it's it's weird so but it's also very exciting and that's my little heart to heart little that's my heart to heart chat with you guys for the moment something that's on my mind something that I've shared over on Instagram that I want to make sure I share here too and yeah let me know is that normal feelings did you guys have those feelings <laughs> we have a sleeping beauty says it's hot out here but I want to be out here anyways and her sister is asleep on the bench out there if you guys can see her nap time I just made dinner I made tacos and Larry has leftover chili the floor guys arrived and they were actually the two gentlemen that were here to do the job in the first place we had a discussion you know, it wasn't, I don't know. They said, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to get a call tomorrow. We'll get a call tomorrow and see, you we'll know, see. what happened. So what, what they'll do. We're going to go from there. I'm not going to say anything more until I get a call from the manager tomorrow. So anyways, let me show you guys the beautiful tacos. Here is grandpa's. Do they not look amazing? I mean... They do. I mean, I'm biased because I made them, but <laughs> we'll leave it to Grandpa. Grandpa, what do you think of the tacos? Oh, yeah. I like them. They just kind of color just comes right, right out from it. It sure does. And I'll definitely get you a napkin because it's going to be a messy dinner tonight. <laughs> Mindy, excellent presentation. Thanks, babe. Lexi, that's not your food. That is not your food. That is your sister's food. No, no, no. No, no, no. Good girl. Not yours. Yours is in the other room. You know that, sneaky sneaks. Lexi? Lexi, what do you have your tongue sticking out for? Did you bite your tongue and it's stuck on your teeth? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you showing everybody your tongue? Pewee on you is what she's saying. <laughs> what are you doing, pretty girl? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is this tongue doing, huh? You gonna keep it there? Okay.